Purple Banditos, welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we made our way here to Spear Pillar. In today's episode, we actually have to head to one more location before we can catch these two. And I actually kind of left it, all right, as a way for us to discover a little bit about the mystery between these two. We're actually going to go ahead and fly to Celestic Town, so I'll meet you guys there really quickly. So we are back here in Celestic Town. Before we can continue on to actually fight against Palkia and Dialga, you guys told me that I have to head inside this cave. Something I overlooked, so we're going to try and do that today. And hopefully this will be the last thing that we need so we can actually face off against these two legendaries. Let's go ahead and read the sign. And look, it's Cynthia. That's cool. I haven't seen her in like a while. This cave painting, it's always been described this way. This light in the center represents either Dialga or Palkia appearing at the spear pillar. The three lights around her were thought to be a Uxie mess written herself. May I continue? Why are you asking me to continue? Go ahead. But then I realized that there may be another way of interpreting this. Could this triangle of lights actually represent a different trio? Could they be Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina instead? And the large light at the center, does it represent something else? Could it be that red... What? Could it be what created this world of ours? There's something else? May I continue for a little bit longer? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you for listening to my theory. Do you know of the ancient plates they find all over Sinnoh? One of them had this engraved on it. Two beings of time and space set free from the original one. I think this quote two points to the presence of another Pokemon. A Pokemon even more powerful than Dialga or Palkia. Does that sound plausible to you? I'm not quite sure how Giratina fits, fits into this scheme of things, but it said that in the distortion world, neither time nor space were stable. I think that tells us something about Giratina, the only Pokemon there. It must have been as powerful as Dialga and Palkia, the rulers of time and space. In some way, though, Giratina has to have a power opposite of theirs. Yeah, this is taking a while. Cynthia, come on, speed it up, Blondie. A long time ago, I wonder what sort of person painted this. Dialga's War of Time, Palkia's spatial render. To the people back then, those Pokemon really must have appeared to rule over time and space. Seeing them just have shaken the people to the very core. This painting represents those feelings of awe, wonder, and everything else. It passed that memory to countless people, eventually becoming a myth. That's what I believe as a researcher of myth. I think I let myself get carried away and talked for far too long. I'm sorry and thank you. Let's meet again. So apparently there's another Pokemon other than Dialga and Palkia. Alright, so now that we've gone through that conversation with Cynthia, there's actually one more thing we need to do that I was almost forgetting about. The most important piece of this, we're actually have, we actually have to find Cynthia's grandma. I don't know exactly where this grandma is. I, I'm just going to kind of look around and see if I can find her. It's probably not in there. I know she's somewhere in this town, you know, sleeping, hiding, doing all the grandma things, making cookies, knitting sweaters, doing some of that stuff in here somewhere. Maybe it's this little house. If not, it might be the huge one because, you know, Cynthia is the champion. I'm guessing she's making some champion money, bought her grandma a huge house. Let's just go ahead and walk in here. Uh, is this it? There seems to be a grandma here. Let's go ahead and talk to her. Well, hello, you look good. I did some research on my own since I spotted trouble last time. My coronet's acting up had me very concerned, too. Well, this is what I found in the shrine. It's a book, and it's quite old. Let me read it a bit for you. The bearer of the shining adamant orb summons Dialga to the spear pillar. The guardian Pokemon of the time will answer the call. The bearer of the shining lustrous orb summons Palkia to the pillar. The Pokemon that binds the special dimensions will answer the call. It seems the people of long ago met both Dialga and Palkia, the Pokemon of time and space. I think that's about all this lady had to tell us, so I guess that we need both orbs in order to summon both of the Pokemon, and that's the last thing we're going to need to do in order to fight them. I believe this is the last piece to the puzzle, what we're going to need to fight these two legendary Pokemons. This is the last thing we needed. Let's go ahead and fly back to Spear Pillar, so I'll see you guys back at the top. Okay, Banditos, so we're back here, a top spear pillar. We are ready to face off against the two legendary Pokemons. We have done everything that has been directed, and as you can see, there is a blue orb right there facing us. I say we go ahead and bump into it, so here we go. On the other side of the rift, in a fantastically bizarre place, it's Dialga! Will you challenge Dialga? Yes, we're going to go ahead and challenge Dialga. So here we go, Rodri versus Dialga! One of the three legendary Pokemon in this, the big trio. We are ready to face off against Dialga. It is level 70. That is a monster we're going to be going against. Look at that thing. That thing is a beast. Woo! This thing's going to be a tough, 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 tough enemy. I'm going to go for the Earthquake. We're going to see how much damage we can do on it. I actually have my speedy out. You know, I'm thinking ground Pokemon, someone that can do some serious damage to this. Someone that can, you know, tank it for us and see if we can get something going because I know it's going to be a tough fight. I know these two legendary Pokemon are very strong and I know we need to put as much damage as possible in it. So here we go. We're going to go for the Earthquake. Hopefully I do a decent amount. You guys also told me that the catch rate for this isn't that bad. So I'm hoping that, you know, it'll make it through. It's already looking quite decent. I'm going to go straight up for an Ultra Ball. Hopefully we can catch it really fast. So here we go. Ultra Ball. And let's hope for the best, everybody. Here we go. Cross your fingers. One, two. 
two, three, did I go? Oh, I thought I was going to get in on the first shot for a second. I was all happy. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get this one in the orange zone. I have a feeling about it that, you know, if I can weaken it to a certain point, we can actually get it pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and go for the crunch. I don't think I'll KO with the crunch. All fingers crossed, everybody, please. Oh, wow, that didn't do anything. You know what? Maybe I'll just keep crunching it, get it in the red zone, throw some Pokeballs, and we'll be going good. It went for a roar of time. I have no idea what that does, but that sounds quite deadly, and it looks like it's doing a lot of damage. It KO'd me. Wow, that, that roar of time actually did a crap load. Yes, we're going to use the next Pokemon, and I'm going to go ahead and switch out to... Um, Let's go with Bowler. Yeah, let's go with Bowler. We haven't seen Bowler out in the battle for a little bit, so let's go ahead and send out Bowler. I'm hoping that, you know, we won't KO it with certain moves that we can just, you know, do some slight damage on it and uh, hope for the best. So I'm actually going to go for, I'm going to go for, um, let's go for a Brave Bird. All, you know, all fingers crossed here that we don't KO this thing. All fingers crossed that it tanks us and then, you know, we can just throw some Pokeballs at it. And there we go. We got it perfectly in the red zone. That is exactly what I was looking for. And it needs to recharge. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and throw, um, oh yeah, let's go with an Ultra Ball. I don't want to, you know, juke it out and get screwed, you know, have it get screwed in a Pokeball. It's a legendary Pokemon after all. We have to give it its respect and try to catch it, you know, as best as possible and hope for the best here. It's going to go for a roar of time. This thing's actually pretty strong. I don't know how much damage it does, but, you know, if it can KO my speedy, which was like a half HP, I'm expecting it to be able to KO the bowler, which has a lot less defense. There we go. It's gone ahead and KO'd my bowler. That is, that is a very tough blow. I'm going to go ahead and send out Doof. I'm going to revive my uh, speedy, you know, in order for us to have a tank because I can tell Dialga is going to be a tough catch for us. Someone that's going to be, you know, a little bit tougher for us to use. Someone that's going to be a little bit tougher for us to catch in general. Um, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and heal up speedy. I like that they're level 70. That's pretty cool. So if I did use them, you know, wouldn't have to train much. They're already like 10 levels higher than my other Pokemon, which I really, really like. I'm also going to go ahead and use a revive on Bowler. Just in case to have the other, you know, high-level Pokemon out compared to the low ones since I do have Nessie and Doof out, which are my HM slaves. It's going to go for an Earth Power. This is probably going to KO me. You know, by all means, KO me. Not much else I can do right now. Just, you know, hope for the best and hope that, you know, I can catch it in a Pokeball here very soon. We're going to go ahead and we're going to switch out to Nessie. We are also going to revive before we face off against Palkia because I'm actually hoping to face off against both of them in today's episode. So, uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and use a Full Restore. Let's just go ahead and use that on Speedy. Because if Nessie gets KO'd here, we'll send out Speedy. And hopefully, you know, Speedy can get the tank going, get that tank on. It's using these Roars of Time like crazy. It, it's it do, it's doing a lot of damage to me. This Roar of Time's kind of, you know, freaking me out a little bit. Because it seems like it can KO my Pokemon. And that's something I definitely don't want. I definitely don't want, you know, us to be KO'd this easily. So here comes out Speedy. Hopefully Speedy can last long enough for me to throw a good amount of Ultra Balls. You know, get, get the show going and hopefully catch it uh, quite easily. Here we go. Ultra Ball, I am doing the AB trick. Our fingers crossed that the AB trick works for us today, and it didn't. It popped out of its ball. <coughs> boo hoo, boo hoo, boo hoo. It's popping out of its ball like crazy today. It doesn't want to stay in it. Maybe it's because it's Monday. Maybe it's because it's Monday. It's like, no, I want to go chill and not do all this stuff and just relax and have a good time. I don't want to be stuck on a Pokeball so early in the week. It's going for a heal block. I'm guessing it blocks me from healing. Hmm. That, that would be my guess. I'm also running out of Ultra Balls. I thought the catch rate was going to be higher, so I was going to have a much easier time catching it. It's actually becoming a little bit difficult here. Hopefully, I won't run out of Pokeballs, and hopefully, I won't have to restock before we actually face off against Palkia. You know, all fingers crossed here that I catch it in a limited amount of time. So, it went for the Earth Power. Of course, that's not going to do much, as we are a ground type. I don't expect it to KO us whatsoever. Let's go ahead and throw some Ultra Balls. I'll probably get some other balls in the mix. Um, you know, maybe some other sorts of balls. I'm pretty sure Dialga is the one that's Steel. Uh, so, you know, I can tell kind of from, like, what it's wearing. I think this is the Steel one. If I'm correct, this is a Steel one. Um, it's going for a Roar of Time which is going to do, let's see how much damage. Hopefully, you know, it won't do that much this time and I can just use a full restore. But this is a very, very strong attack and it seems like it's KOing me again. So there we go, another attack. I think it's time to switch out and send out Sparky because I'm getting KO'd pretty hard right now. Uh, this is becoming very, very difficult. I didn't think we were going to have this much trouble with Dialga, but apparently Dialga is not wanting to go down without a fight. You are a legendary Pokemon. What can I expect? I'm going to go for a Dust Ball. Just because it's 7.52 where I am, so I'm thinking, you know, Night Ball, maybe it'll kick in, maybe it'll let us, let us do something. It didn't, that's okay. Um, by all means, I'm going to go for, let's go for, let's see what else. No, that's all I have. 
quick ball. We have a lot of quick balls. They won't be that effective, though, because we aren't using them on the first turn. We already, you know... I probably should have used it on the first turn, but I was like, you know what, screw it. I kind of just want to throw what I have and see what else can come from this. Uh, it appeared to be caught. It's going to go for a slash on us. That's okay. That shouldn't do too much. Not at all. It's level 70. You'd think it'd do a little more damage, but apparently not. Apparently, it's only going to do a little bit, a little bit for us. So here we go. Uh, hopefully, you can catch it here. Please. Oh, my goodness, dude. You were that close. Just stay in the Pokeball. All right, heal block. We can't heal. I'm, I'm guessing that's it. I don't know if it's, you know, full restores too, but, you know, we can't heal. This thing is actually giving me a little more trouble than I expected. I expected it to be a little bit easier. As you guys told me, it had a 30 catch rate, not just a 3, but it's still giving me a lot of difficulty. Compared to Yuxi and Azelf, which I took down a lot easier, the legendaries we've been doing lately in the post game are actually a lot more difficult than I expected them to be. I know Cresselia was quite easy because we used a Master Ball. But Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno actually did give me quite a bit of trouble. It's going for the Earth Power. That's going to be super effective on us. We are an Electric type, so it's probably going to kill the crap out of us. Not much we're going to be able to do there. Um, I'm hoping to heal up again because this thing is KOing my Pokemon left and right. It's like, yo, dude, don't don't try and catch me. Don't try and catch me, buddy. We're going to send out Volar in all hopes that I can throw a Master Ball and catch it. Or, yes, a Master Ball. No, in all hopes that I can throw an Ultra Ball here and catch it before this thing KOs my whole team. If it KOs my whole team, that will be pretty shameful. Pretty shameful and a little bit disappointing because, you know, I didn't think it was going to give us that hard of a time. It's going for a heal block. Cool, you do that. You heal block my healing. And I'm going to go ahead and just keep Ultra Balling you in hopes that I can catch you. I don't really want to restock Ultra Ball, so if you stay in that pretty ball, I'll make sure to give you lots of kisses and lots of hugs and we'll have a party. Yeah, and it was so close. Second time it's been that close. It's going for a heal block. It failed. It'd be great if it ran out of those big power moves, because then I'd be able to probably easily be, like catch it. But, you know, whatever. By all means, do what you want, you little crazy Pokemon. You are the legendary after all. There we go. We got it. We caught Dialga. That wasn't too bad. Great job. We finally caught it. We finally caught it before we KO'd my team. And all of a sudden, I'm British, eh? And a little Canadian, too. All right. We caught the steel Pokemon, Dialga. Woohoo! Uh, let's give it a nickname. How about we call it, uh, we're going to call it Clues. You know, like Blue's Clues because it's blue. Yes, that sounds good. Or how about Clue? Clue. That sounds like a good name. No, I like Clues better. Clue sounds like a nice little name. We're going to name it Clues. And there we go. We sent Clues to the PC. Goodbye, BB. Goodbye, BB, baby. BB, baby. BB, 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 BB. Yes, BB's PC. Uh, I'm pretty sure if we go in and out, we can actually fight against the other one. So let's go ahead and check that out. Hopefully we can. Hopefully that's what it, it tells us to do. It tells us to do, everybody. And there we go. That is where the purple one is. And we are ready to face off. I'm going to heal up really quick. Be right to back. All right, you crazy banditos. So I've decided to just go with the Pokeballs I have. Yes, yes, yes. It might be a risky move. Oh, well. On the other side of the rift, in a fantastically bizarre place, it's Palkia! Will you challenge Palkia? Yes, here we go! Go, 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 go. Rodri versus Palkia! It looks like it has a purple aura around it, so I already like this Pokemon right away. Here we go! Rodri versus Palkia, it is level 70. A wild Palkia has appeared. We're gonna send out Speedy, like you guys know. Speedy's my big opener, Speedy's my big shot, and I'm gonna go for a Leaf Storm. Let's see if some Leaf Storm in action can do some stuff. Right away, it went for the heal block. We won't be able to heal for this, so which is okay with me. Hopefully, we can land the Leaf Storm and see if we can actually put some serious damage on this Pokemon and see if we can get it as low as we did for Dialga and, you know, get it KO'd, get some stuff going. I'm going to go for the Wood Hammer next. Uh, it's going to go for another Heal Block. What are you doing, Palkia? You're a legendary. You're a big shot. You think you know that a Heal Block isn't going to do much to me, little buddy. All right, that didn't do much. I'm going to go for a Crunch. Let's hope the Crunch does a lot. It went for another Heal Block. This Palkia must be a little, you know, what I'm saying. Uh, that got it very low. I'm going to go ahead and start throwing stuff at it. Let's go for a quick ball we haven't used quick balls yet i actually have quite a lot of quick balls so if it comes down to it we'll just start spamming quick balls and i'm sure we'll do fine i mean it's a quick ball we have like 30 of them they're quite decent i'm pretty sure they're actually like a pokeball which is mm, it's iffy but you know we're still gonna try it why not uh, i'm gonna go just for an ultra ball we have like 14 of them so you know hopefully we'll be able to catch it within 14 pokeballs i still need to weaken it a little more so if it comes down to it i'm gonna send in a little bit of a weaker pokemon uh maybe nessie to weak it down a bit because i'm a little scared that if i use anything else this thing's gonna you know ko me let's see what i have yeah if i use anything else i'm pretty sure this thing will be pretty much ko'd so i don't really want to risk that i'm just gonna go ahead and throw some ultra balls at it 
Hope that I can catch it. Get some magic going. It is in the red zone. It shouldn't be that difficult for us to catch. Um, and here we go. It appeared to be caught. We're getting close. It's going for an earth power. I guess both of them have earth powers. I thought one of them was water and the other one was steel. Maybe this one's the steel one. I'm not completely sure right now, so we'll have to figure that out. I'm going to go ahead and just throw Ultra Balls at it. Just spam that crap out of it. Hopefully you guys are having a good Monday. I know I am, you know, kind of relaxing, studying for exams here and there. And, you know, just hoping for the... Oh, I got it! Oh! Woo! We got Palkia! Yes! Distracting it works! Remember that! Distracting them works! That was probably like our fourth Pokeball! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That was awesome! That was good! So it looks like we got the spatial Pokemon. It is a water dragon. This one was one of those water dragons, so I was correct that Dialga was the steel dragon. A legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh. It is said that space becomes more stable with Palkia's every breath. That is nice. That is nice. My heartbeat becomes more stable when I breathe. So uh, that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and name it Purply. Purply sounds like a cool name. Purply, purply, purply. Sounds like a squid or something. Purply. I have no idea, but that's what we're going to name it. That's that's an okay. Whoa, okay. No, no. We don't want names between it. Whoa, wait. Look, look at the W I put accidentally. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? I'm not even like looking at the bottom. I'm like, yo, I'm just going to call it something cool. Purply. So there we go. Purply was transferred to BB's PC. So, I guess that's going to be it for this episode, guys. If you have any tips, let me know what we should do. Right now, I'm considering doing the rival battle and then probably moving on to the 4 Elite 4. So, unless you guys can think of anything else, that is probably what we will be doing in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for helping me catch Palkia, Dialga, Clues, and Purpley. In the next episode, we will possibly go into some crazy adventures and do some crazy stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you next time. Goodbye.